I'm Barbara Jennings, your local realtor here, and today we've got a special guest, Mac Church, and he is with Atlantic Coast Mortgage. And let me tell you, we've got a special mini series just about lending for the next, oh goodness, goes until next year. <laughs> it may go into even longer, but for right now, we're gonna get to the end of the year. On every Wednesday night, we're gonna post this. So stay tuned and make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get notified not only of these lending videos that are gonna educate you in today's shifting market, but also we've got driving tours and we've got all kinds of pros and cons about all the different counties, all the way up to Northern Virginia, down to Prince William County. So without further ado, we're gonna get going and introduce Mac Church. <laughs> and we're here with Mac Church with uh, Atlantic Coast Mortgage, as we just stated a few moments ago. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about loans. And so what does that mean? There's a scootle, a lots. lots and lots of loans out there, different loan programs. Um, so Max going to like start off and let us know of all the different types of loans and you know, with, Hey, without further ado, go ahead take it away. I will take it away. <laughs> okay. So, um, there's several different loan programs out there and they all have their pros and cons. And I'm going to kind of give a list of, of, uh, what we have available to offer. So there's conventional loans. There's uh, government loans, which would be your FHA, VA, and rural development. Yeah. There's uh, land and lot loans. There are construction loans, renovation loans, uh, first-time home buyer loans, <laughs> heroes loans, and uh, and equity loans. Oh my goodness, so that is already. I'm like, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> what so are all imagine, those loans about? Like, it could be I'm, very confusing. Yeah, because I'm so, like a first time home buyer. Maybe I bought a home, but you know, some of those loans are like, oh my goodness, those are kind of confusing. They <laughs> are. You and, break it down, <laughs> and, and they they all don't apply to everyone. So uh, so part of my job is to figure out what loan works best for each different person and to meet their financial needs. Yeah. Um, their credit, their income, uh, it all kind of goes in, their assets, everything's kind of jumbled in together. That makes sense. And yeah, yeah. so um, I, I would say the, the top three loans out there that are used mm -hmm. are gonna be your conventional loans, which you may have heard of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Those yeah, are the Fannie two. Fannie Mae and Freddie yeah. Mac. Now, are those people that, you know, I'm just educating you guys out there. So Fannie and Freddie, is that, that that's the person I'm gonna make my mortgage to? Or who is Fannie and Freddie? Fannie and Freddie <laughs> is the investor that they're the giant mortgage company that's going to purchase the loans. Oh. So, so you're not going to be paying Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac directly. You're gonna be paying your mortgage through a different kind of servicer oh, okay. uh, who kind of does all the work for Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. They make the money yeah they definitely they the have investors the other, they have the investors <laughs> that are going to service those loans so so conventional loans are going to be your Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac loans there you go um these loans are uh typically five percent down uh, or more um but there are some specialized Fannie Mae loans and Freddie Mac loans that only require three percent down so when you say three percent down percent down of, of the purchase price. Oh, okay, of the so purchase if, price. If that makes a, sense. If the home <laughs> is being sold for $300,000, 3% of that is $9,000. So that would be the down payment. Oh, okay. Um, now, anything below uh, a 5% down payment on a conventional loan is going to be uh, income restricted. So uh, first-time home buyers are eligible for this 3% and non-first-time <laughs> home buyers are eligible for it as well. Double thumbs up. Yes. Um, but there are income limits. So, oh, okay. you know, they don't want, uh, they don't want our, our buyer who makes a million dollars a year using a 3% down because they shouldn't need that loan. So they are reserved for uh, limited income, um, but it's a, it's a pretty nice uh, range. Okay. Um, there's, like I said, there's pros and cons to every kind of loan. Um, the pros to conventional are generally, uh, you're going to have a much lower mortgage insurance rate, and we'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. um, That'll be a whole nother video. That's a whole nother <laughs> video, believe me. But just to like but, but, throw it in there. Yeah, yeah. So, so your rate on a conventional mm -hmm. loan on, on mortgage insurance is gonna be much lower. Um, it is, uh, it's generally, uh, the rates are, are really good. Um, they're, they're based on, uh, of course, credit and debt to income, and then, uh, the only negative to conventional ones is they're they're much harder to qualify for. So yeah, especially um, nowadays, you know, since the market has shifted, we're in 2022, about to go into 2023. Um, so you might be watching this video and be like, oh my goodness, like how hard is it to qualify? Like, well, is it based on my credit score? Is it based on my debt to income ratio? It's based on every combination. Yeah, 
But typically, uh, to get an automated approval for a conventional one, mm -hmm. normally you have to have at least a 700 credit score. Okay. Um, unless you're, if you're putting 20% down, then the risk is not as great, and you can have a lower score. But generally, in this in this uh, in this arena, we're looking at 700 plus credit scores for these loans. Okay. Um, so that's probably the one uh, con to this loan. Um, the next one would be FHA. And this is the most generally used loan. Oh, yeah. And uh, the reason for that is the, the credit score requirements are much, much lower. Um, it actually allows for a higher debt to income ratio, which is kind of strange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but they're government backed. So, yeah, good old uh, Fannie and Freddie. And... Yeah. So, a lot more people will qualify for these loans. And uh, the one con to the FHA loan is mm. that it does have uh, mortgage insurance that never falls off. So it's for life, unless you put a certain amount of money down. Yeah. So that's the negative. Yeah, it used to not be like that. No, it used to, no. after you had 20%, you know, you paid 20% into it, then it could knock off, but that changed a couple years ago. Yes, yeah. yes. So now if you put down 10% or more, then you have to carry it for 11 years, which still is a lot, but it's yeah. not the whole life, uh, you know, term. Yeah, 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> or the, one of those 40 year loans, which I hope you guys never do a 40 no, year no, loan. No, no. Um, and then the last thing is that uh, there is a upfront mortgage insurance premium that FHA charges. It's 1.75% of whatever your loan amount is going to be. Um, now, they do let you finance it in, so okay. it's not money out of your pocket. There you go. Um, but they have that on there, too. So when you compare rates to payments um, of different loan types, usually an FHA loan payment is going to be more than a conventional loan payment. Okay. So, and then we have the granddaddy of them all, as I call it, and that's yeah. the VA loan, which is an amazing loan, and yes. it is for our veterans yes. and active duty military or surviving spouses of veterans. Yes. And this loan um, has no mortgage insurance, which is just amazing. And the rates are the lowest out of all the different loan types. The rates on VA are the lowest. Yeah, which is um, great. We love our veterans. We love yeah, our veterans. We and, and We thank you for your service if you're out there. They've earned it. Yeah. And definitely. so uh, so this is an awesome loan. The only con, because everything has a con, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is if you uh, if you are not ten percent disabled or more rated by the the VA, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. then you do have to pay what they call a, a, a guarantee fee. Yeah. And this guarantee fee is uh, again financed into the loan and it's a percentage of the uh, of the loan amount. Um, the first mm -hmm. time somebody uses it, it's it's a two point three percent. But if you're okay. a second time user or more, right. then uh, it's 3.6%. That can be yeah. pretty hefty on a, you know, on a high loan amount. So right. um, again, it is not, financed in. But, yeah, you're putting it all in, no money out of pocket, you right. know, which is really great. You know, if you're a veteran and you're getting a lower rate, <clears throat> you're financing it in, you're probably at the end of the day, somewhat comparable to the- It's still coming out lower just because there's yeah. no mortgage insurance. So you're gonna have the lowest payment oh, yeah. with this loan. But again, like I said, there's there's a ton of loans out there. Um, we can answer any questions about any loan type, and we'll cover some other uh, some other great things with um, some different loan types later. Yeah, so you heard it from Mac. All these different loan types, um, from FHA to VA to conventional to land, whatever it is, you guys have a um, comment, a question. Um, hey, just reach out. <laughs> Max sending an email, a email <laughs> shooting a little text out. Just reach out uh, and we can answer any questions that you guys have uh, about any of the loan programs that ACM has to offer. Yes. There you go. Vanessa Mac, that was such great information. I can tell you, hey buyers, if you're out there and you're listening here in a Mac, he is the Mac Daddy. <laughs> He's got all, <laughs> he wasn't ready for me to say that, but <laughs> that's the truth. He knows what he's doing. He's got the service. He's got the people. He's got the knowledge and the wisdom, and he is a local lender. Yes. Um, so. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Barbara, for having me. It's been wonderful, and uh, I hope uh, all of you out there will definitely reach out to us with any questions or needs. Um, we've been doing this a long time, so we have a lot of knowledge for you, and mm -hmm. uh answer anything that you need and uh, help you buy that house. That's right. So if you guys are watching, remember to comment below, buy now, uh, down there in the comments, and we will get uh, right to you and answer any questions that you had, or you could just reach out to us. Uh, give us a call, shoot us a text, send email. us an email. <laughs> yeah. Reach out days, nights, weekends. It doesn't matter because, um, you know, when you're looking online, it's 24 seven. So whatever time of the day it is, just comment below. We'll get any question uh, that you have uh, answered.